Hello guys, it's Revolution. So this isn't even spoiler territory anymore because it's been announced by Bandai Namco. There's a trailer, there's a poster, there's toys, there's leaflets. Gogeta is in the upcoming Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. It's been speculated for quite a while now, but if you don't want to be spoiled on the finer details of that movie, then that could happen in this video. So it might not be for you. You have been warned, regardless to say, Gogeta in the trailer that we got just a few days ago is absolutely oozing. A few months ago, some data mining came out revealing that Gogeta was going to be in the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 extras packs. So that had everybody speculating. I was quite sure at that point that it couldn't be anything else other than Gogeta in this upcoming Broly movie, hence all my videos on him. This news was confirmed after the film premiered in Japan on November the 14th. Many spectators that went to the event confirmed Gogeta and of course this is the official announcement of Gogeta. So onto the topic of this video. Gogeta or Metamoran Fusion per se has been retconned. Gogeta is far stronger than we thought. We're going to talk about it in this video. Before we get to that I just want to know this isn't necessarily about power scaling etc but who is your favorite fusion is it Gogeta or Vegito? Let me know down in the comment section whether you are team Gogeta or team Vegito and your reasons why I look forward to reading them. And whilst you're doing that here on Instagram or Twitter you can find links to my Instagram and Twitter in the pinned comment of this video. Do come follow me on those social media platforms if you have them where we can talk about Dragon Ball amongst other things even further and lend the die shank in your energy hit that like button lend me your energy the latest trailer on the broly movie i can't even put into words it was utterly remarkable i was already insatiably hyped for this movie i didn't even need this trailer i didn't think i had any more hype left in me but just like goku in the tournament of power this latest trailer broke through my shell and broke my limits. I'm now Ultra Instinct hype levels. Now, Ultra Instinct's an incredibly powerful transformation, but the question now is, is Gogeta Blue stronger than Ultra Instinct Goku from the Tournament of Power? We know Ultra Instinct will not be in this movie, at least not on Goku's part, but given what we just saw in this trailer, Gogeta is oozing venom. Given all the reports, given what we've seen, we know that base Gogeta fares better against Broly, Super Saiyan Broly, than Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta simultaneously. Now that's nothing major because we know that fusion tends to take the fusing's power and ignites it far beyond anything they were capable of even as individuals fighting together. But what I'm trying to emphasize is how powerful Broly in his Super Saiyan state was in comparison to Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Now remember guys, you go back to the Tournament of Power, Goku demonstrated that he's capable of using Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 against Jir in the Grey, and Vegeta demonstrated Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Now, we've never been told that Vegeta can no longer access Super Saiyan Blue Evolution in a similar fashion to how Goku revealed in episode 131 of Dragon Ball Super that he could no longer tap into Ultra Instinct, and I'm sure we'll get to see him use it again one day, but as of right now, he doesn't know how to access Ultra Instinct. We were never told that about Vegeta and Blue Evolution. In fact, it wouldn't make any sense considering that Vegeta tapped into Blue Evolution despite being knocked out of it in the Tournament of Power, whereas Goku literally had to break through his shell every time just to achieve Ultra Instinct. But given everything we've found out about this upcoming movie, it doesn't appear that Vegeta will be using Super Saiyan Blue Evolution just as Goku won't be using Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken in this movie. Now, there may be a good reason to that, and we'll get onto that shortly, but it is Goku, the guy who never gives up the guy who stood up to Jiren time and time again in the Tournament of Power, Goku is the one who decides to flee this battlefield, taking Vegeta with him using instant transmission to find Piccolo so they could learn to fuse, because he knew that Super Saiyan Broly had far too much smoke for him and Vegeta combined no matter what they did. That's how strong Broly becomes during this movie. Like I said last week, Broly's adaptation boosts are absolutely insane. But it seems, at least for a short period of time, that base Gogeta is able to stand up to this version of Broly. So what you've got to take into consideration here is this is base Gogeta and he is far stronger than Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Now during Metamoran Fusion, the two Fusies have to be at a similar power level to sync up and fuse. 
And obviously to become base Gogeta, they'll need to fuse in their bases because if they fuse as Super Saiyans or Super Saiyan Blues, they'll instantly become that transformation upon fusing. Gogeta arrives on the battlefield against Broly in his base, so therefore Goku and Vegeta did the fusion dance in their base and he tackled Broly in his base, which means the Metamoran fusion multiplier is larger than that of the Super Saiyan Blue multiplier. Now for the longest of times, when power scalers have scaled Gogeta, they have often used the perfect GT files guide from Dragon Ball GT in order to grasp how powerful it is because it told us that the Gogeta multiplier is dozens of times. That could be anywhere from 24 to 96 and in some people's minds it's up to 144. I mean that's been blown out of the water so it doesn't matter anymore but when people use those GT perfect files before they weren't incorrect in doing so because that was the information at hand. Obviously this movie is new information. It's not even necessarily new information guys because this Gogeta is a new Gogeta. It is not the same Gogeta as the one from Dragon Ball GT or the one from the Dragon Ball Z movies. Just like the Broly in this movie, it is not the Dragon Ball Z movie Broly. It's a completely new repackaged Broly from the pen of Toriyama himself. As will be Gogeta in Dragon Ball Super Broly, unlike Broly and Gogeta from the Dragon Ball Z movies and Dragon Ball GT. As we know, Toriyama had very little to do with the Dragon Ball Z movies and Dragon Ball GT. That information from the Dragon Ball GT perfect files is still legitimate for Dragon Ball GT Gogeta. But I'm sure you don't need me to tell you this, a dozens of times multiplier would not be enough to take on Broly in this movie. As I said in a video a few months ago that Gogeta Blue stands no chance against Broly because if it's based on that that GT Perfect Files information, there is no way it can possibly stand up to somebody as strong as Broly. I was right. Meta Brown Fusion, Gogeta has been retconned. Now retconned is not necessarily the right word because like I just said, this is a brand new Gogeta. We've never seen Gogeta in the Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super continuity before. This is a first time. So how strong is the Super Saiyan Blue multiplier? Well, there are a few variants that still need to be explained and advocated to us, but I'll get to that in just a moment. We already know that the regular golden haired Super Saiyan states Multipliers are as follows as per the Super Exciting Guides. Super Saiyan is a 50 times multiplier base. Super Saiyan 2 is twice as strong as that, so it's a 100 times base multiplier. Super Saiyan 3 is 4 times Super Saiyan 2, making it a 400 times base multiplier. Now this is where those variants come in because we then have stacked Super Saiyan God. Goku can still use Super Saiyan God post Battle of God Saga. It doesn't appear that the stacked Super Saiyan God multiplier is anywhere close to the ritual Super Saiyan God multiplier. We don't know what the multiplier for stacked Super Saiyan God is over Super Saiyan 3. We did tell us in the Tournament of Power that stacked Super Saiyan God is faster than the regular Super Saiyan states. And as we know in Dragon Ball, if you increase your key or multiply your key, you multiply all your combat abilities, power, strength, speed, durability, you name it. So for the sake of lowballing, we can at least say Stack Super Saiyan God is at least twice as strong as Super Saiyan 3. So that would make it an 800 times base multiplier of power. Now I'm by no means saying it is only two times Super Saiyan 3. This is just a lowballed figure. It is likely a lot higher than that. But of course, without official information, we cannot assert any higher number than the lowballed figure. Then of course, we have Super Saiyan Blue itself, which is basically Super Saiyan God turn Super Saiyan. The regular golden haired Super Saiyan state is a 50 times multiplier. Is it the same for Super Saiyan Blue? Likely, especially if you look at the fight between Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Kefla in the Tournament of Power. However, in the manga of Dragon Ball Super against the legendary assassin Hit, it was stated that Super Saiyan Blue is only a 10 times multiplier. Of course, we now have new information that points towards there being three different stages or levels of Super Saiyan Blue. What Goku and Vegeta fought hit with in the God of Destruction tournament was the initial Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue. However, against Goku Black in the Future Trunks saga, they were capable of using advanced Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. And in the tournaments of power, they could use mastered Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. So the Super Saiyan Blue transformation got stronger throughout the course of Dragon Ball Super. So it's very likely that 
overcome the tournament of power that super saiyan blue just like the golden haired super saiyan is a 50 times multiplier but of course with super saiyan blue it would be 50 times that of super saiyan god which would equate to a 40,000 times base multiplier so guys i'm just going to take this moment to roll back and if you've been following me for quite a while now you may remember this power scaling theory video i did on super saiyan blue called super saiyan blue control amplification theory the theory basically proposed the notion that as goku and vegeta gained more control of their god key and kept more of it inside their body the more the multiplication for Super Saiyan Blue increased and if they truly mastered it then it would become a 50 times multiplier like the golden head state of Super Saiyan. Given what we now know about initial advanced and mastered Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan it appears that my theory video on Super Saiyan Blue may have been right after all. But back on topic, Base Gogeta is stronger than Super Saiyan Blue Goku meaning that the Metamoran Fusion multiplier is higher than 40,000 times. It's likely higher than even Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20. Now what's 40,000 times 20? Simple math really, that's 800,000 times base. And of course you could propose that Super Saiyan Blue Evolution is even stronger than Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20. However, I just want us to hold our horses here. You need to learn the finer details of why Goku and Vegeta do not use Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken and Evolution against Broly. Needless to say, Metamoran Fusion alone is above a 40,000 base multiplier and that's a low ball and could potentially be all the way up to 800,000 if not higher. Don't forget guys, Gogeta can then turn Super Saiyan Blue as well, so that's another 40,000 times base multiplier stacked on top. And as I keep saying, that 40,000 base multiplier is actually a low ball figure. It could be a lot higher, especially if you factor in whether the original Golden Haired Super Saiyan states get stronger than the multipliers implied in the Super Exciting Guides, then of course the stacked Super Saiyan God multiplier, we low balled it as 2 times Super Saiyan 3 of course. So I guess the big questions are these, is Metamoran Fusion a stronger multiplier? Multiplier than that of Ultra Instinct or Patara Fusion. We'll tackle Patara Fusion first. The last time we saw Goku and Vegeta use Patara Fusion was against Merge Zamasu in the Future Trunk Saga, and Patara Fusion got nerfed big time. The Elder Kai stated that Patara Fusion was a permanent fusion. We found out that only applies to Kais and not mortals. So Goku and Vegeta last one hour when fusing, but if they use too much power, it doesn't even last an hour. Vegito Blue lasted approximately five to seven minutes against Merge Zamasu. Now I say five to seven minutes, but that was just screen time in episode 66 of Dragon Ball Super. So it was probably far less than that in real fighting time. As we know, these characters fight at massively faster than light speeds. Each combat exchange usually lasts split seconds at best. Now it's really hard to gauge exactly how powerful Vegito Blue was in the anime of Dragon Ball Super because he was fighting against another Patara Fusion who could have been X times amount of strength. But in the manga of Dragon Ball Super, Vegito Blue, whilst using the final Kamehameha, a power amping technique, was stated by the Supreme Kai to be stronger than Beerus. Now the power scaling community is split on whether you can use Dragon Ball Super manga as backup for plot holes in the anime. That's not the argument here, but what can be said is Gogeta Blue is definitely stronger than Beerus in this anime, given that Goku states that Broly may have surpassed Beerus at the end of this movie. And obviously if Gogeta Blue's toying with this version of Broly, then of course he's definitely stronger than Beerus. So if the manga interpretation that Vegito Blue is stronger than Beerus is correct, Vegito Blue from the Future Trunks saga would still get toyed with by Gogeta Blue. Now remember guys, there's a few things that have to be noted here. Of course, Gogeta Blue is the fusion of Goku and Vegeta post-tournament to power. They've received extra boost from training, Zenkai's adaptation. And then don't forget that Vegito Blue from the Future Trunks saga was not using a massive Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan state who was likely using the advanced state as Goku nor Vegeta had mastered Super Saiyan Blue at that point. So the debate about Patara Fusion and Metamoran Fusion which is stronger will continue to rage on but the last iteration we saw of Vegito Blue and the current iteration of Gogeta Blue, Gogeta Blue stomps no difficulty. Of course it would be interesting to know how strong a Broly movie Vegito Blue would be. Now this is just me theorising of course but I personally believe Metamoran Fusion and 
Tora Fusion have likely been leveled to be the same multipliers. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, is Gogeta Blue stronger than Ultra Instinct Goku from the Tournament of Power? Ultra Instinct was stated to have possibly surpassed Beerus in the Jump Magazine. Now we don't really know if it was referring to Ultra Instinct Omen Phase 3 as that was the picture it used in the article or whether it was referring to Complete Ultra Instinct. But if it was Ultra Instinct Omen Phase 3 then of course Complete Ultra Instinct was far stronger than Beerus at full power. Then he might be in Gogeta Blue's realms of raw power but if the article was referring to Complete Ultra Instinct it's likely that Gogeta Blue has more raw power than even Ultra Instinct Goku of course. That doesn't necessarily mean he would beat Ultra Instinct Goku because Ultra Instinct comes with a technique slash ability that gives him dodge hacks, speed hacks and I guess you could say critical hit hacks. Now in terms of destructive capacity, if you go on feats and statement scaling, he's easily multi-universal levels of destructive capacity easily. By the key multiplication scaling, he is nearing high multiversal levels of power. It just goes to show how strong this fusion is of Gogeta. He is far stronger than I ever imagined he would be. It has really blown the Dragon Ball GT Perfect Files dozens of times statement out of the water. Once again, that does still apply to Dragon Ball GT's Gogeta and the movie Gogeta but not the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie Gogeta. Gogeta Blue's power in this movie is going to be insane. He is far stronger than I thought and possibly we thought <laughs> anyway. Let me know about that down in the comments section. Did you always think he was going to be this strong or do you agree with me? Keep smashing that like button. Keep lending me your energy. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Until next time, Ad Astra.